Hey everybody, Wanna Wisdom here, January 2nd, 2014. Again, the new year's off to a pretty good start if things are going to continue to go like this. Uh, Chase McCain is hitting not quite as difficult to find as last time. Feel free to post up if you do happen to locate him. Previously, we took a look at Quick Draw Rattleshake. He finally came in the mail today. I know quite a few of you probably already have him. Uh, for me, whatever reason, it uh, showed up today, so can't argue with that. Uh, that said, I think we need to clear the air right now, and the best way to do that is with Stink Bomb. Stink Bomb, uh, very hard to find. The most elusive of Wave 3 swappers. Again, currently, in terms of Wave 3, you can get like your core characters. Uh, Dune Bug, of course, is the new lander. Um, that's kind of got the most attention. He was completely wiped out at my Toys R Us now. Uh, the two toughest characters to find in Wave 3 in terms of the core characters. Hornblast, Whirlwind, 2-2 two, two case, Hyper Beam, Prison Break, 1-2 a case. Uh, so that's kind of the issue there. Uh, I actually returned those Toys R Us figures that I picked up tonight. Uh, just for the simple fact I didn't need two of them. Uh, my nephew did want Hyper Beam Prison Break. It's the one that had like the giant gash in the packaging. Uh, again, I guess Chaos was hired by the post office or something. But uh, took it in there. They didn't have a Hyper Beam Prison Break. Uh, the employee actually knew what I was talking about. And he didn't think they had one. Told me I could double check. And that means that a lot of people have been going in there asking about him. Um, so I did double check. They did not have, they had zero traces of Wave 3. Again, Toys R Us, lowest stock I have seen since launch. Uh, same thing sadly applies to Target. They've got absolutely the worst stock I have seen in, geez, I might say ever, uh, at least at my local Target, which they're never well stocked, but I've never seen them, you know, like wiped down like this before. Uh, they Their main shelf warmers right now are like Skylanders Giants material, so that should tell you something. Uh, they've got like a few, uh, I don't even know, I guess they had the uh, couple of Tower of Time is about all they had in Swap Force. They did have one, shockingly, uh, Nitro Magnet Charge pack, I think it was with Free Ranger if I'm not mistaken, but in terms of anything else, there's nothing, absolutely nothing. Um... I was there, the store was desolate, which is awesome, that's why I run errands on Thursday, and I don't like to deal with crowds. Uh, this is a welcome change of pace since, like, Thanksgiving, when everything's been hectic with crazy people buying stuff they don't need. Uh, anyway, <laughs> when possible, I ask employees, it usually doesn't get you anywhere, sometimes you get lucky. Uh, it was desolate, I don't know, I guess retail people might be in better moods, but uh, more than likely the case... That's someone I'd never dealt with before. Super nice girl. Uh, didn't quite know what I was talking about. I tried to find a picture, you know, the three characters to show her. Didn't come up with anything since they had nothing there. But uh, they did have some starter packs. That was really about it. Uh, she actually was willing to go and check in the back. And, uh, of course, you know, they all scan the same. So she went back there. She came out with three boxes. Uh, not boxes, but actual, like, boxes, you know, the characters. And, uh, amazingly, she had Rubble Rouser and Stink Bomb. Apparently no Spire Eyes. She came out with Hoot Loop instead. But, uh, you know, two out of three in this case, something I will gladly take. I have been going to Target, uh, multiple times here lately. Again, I've kind of been off, gotten to have a little bit more free time. Went in Sunday, and they claimed that they didn't have anything. Uh, went in again, I think, Tuesday, and same story. I was in Wednesday, and same story. And uh, then today, I went in, and wow, you know, there's somebody that's willing to check. Apparently, in my local store, they're keeping them in the lock case. I don't know, that's like Al Gore's lock box or something. Uh, <laughs> then when I checked out, I bought them back in electronics. I just dropped a knife on my foot. Uh, Luckily, my socks. Well, number one, the knife's really dull, so no damage done there. Uh, that is a first in an unboxing, though, for me. Uh, that said, what I'm trying to tell you is, if you can catch an employee, uh, you might bring up, hey, do you have them in the lock box or the lock case in the back? Uh, don't know if that'll register with them, or they'll actually think, oh, yeah, this person knows what they're talking about, and go check. But if it helps you out, by gosh, it was worth the time telling you that story. So uh, for whatever... 
span of time, I don't know if it's like two, three, four weeks, Target will be the only place you can get these characters, uh, short of like ordering them in overseas. Uh, same thing with Toys R Us and the core characters. I am hoping, I had basically resigned from Target. I was thinking I'd have to wait till Toys R Us or GameStop had them, or Amazon. And uh, Amazon does have them listed. It's just like the available ones are with scalpers for $35, $40. And uh, I have monitored it every day uh, since they first just had Stink Bomb and then they added the other two. Stink Bomb, currently no scalpers have them on Amazon, but uh, there are people with Rubble Rouser and uh, Spire Eyes, and no one has bought them, so uh, props for that. Again, they will become commonplace at some point in time, so patience is a virtue, and it saves you money, so keep that in mind. That said, the reason Stink Bomb, I think uh, someone at Target had told me, not like in person, but you know through an email... Uh, someone I think said there were only two stink. I, it might be one of those deals where stink bombs like the smallest number per case or something. That said, the reason I anticipate him being the hardest to come by, uh, not because people love skunks, but for the simple fact right there, he is finally going to give us access to the sneak swap zones. Ideally, all eight would have been available at launch. That didn't happen. Uh, Trap Shadow is our other sneak Skyslander, and uh, no clue when he will come out. We just know it's not going to be Wave 3. So That said, um, 640 mark is where you want to go if you want to skip everything. However, again, I will stress this. If you're looking out at Target and you continue to go, uh, if you get someone that's willing to you know help you out, uh, which does happen sometimes, you know, to every store's credit, you've got good and bad employees. Uh, sometimes they have bad days, sometimes they're happy, who knows, uh, maybe they like your cologne, I don't know. But, uh, try that lock case idea. When I checked out, this is the end of the story, I promise, but when I checked out, I told the girl, you know, I had the sack, and I was like, yeah, I bought these in electronics. And uh, I asked if she needed to see the receipt or something, and she said, no, I believe you, and she said they've actually been having a lot of people steal these. Uh, you know, I don't know. I've seen it Walmart all the time. I go to Walmart, I see people like ripping the, you know, cards and the codes and the characters out, but never really seen it at Target, but I assume it does happen. So again, if you're having trouble, try to find someone that knows something about the lock case and just go for it. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me when everything else is on the floor. But uh, maybe you'll get lucky, and that's what we're trying to have happen here. So, uh, that said, this is Stink Bomb. He looks pretty cool. Uh, from what I have heard from Daphne on Twitter, she actually landed one. Uh, she was one of the lucky ones that got it, I guess, on Sunday the 29th. And then, of course, now she's having heck. She can't get a second one. Uh, why does she want a second one? Same reason I do, to take both paths. Apparently, from what she is saying, the way he has been in the game, uh, she mentioned Stealth Elfish and uh, said she definitely wanted to explore all of his past so again you will need that second figure uh, if you want to do that but uh really nice again the artwork here let's go ahead and take a look this is wave three so we've got a change to the spin wheel stink bomb featured right there then we got stink rise that is stink bomb plus spy rise then we have got stink rouser which is stink bomb and rubble rouser and then we've got Stink Charge. Again, I guess uh, Magna Charge kind of got thrown in as the extra special feature character here. Obviously, Stink Bomb hails from the life element. He is a Swap Force character. You can swap the top and bottom. Slogan, Clear the Air. Obviously, very fitting for the character. And then right there again, Sneak, which this is the first and only available Sneak character at this point in time. Trap Shadow. Uh, not sure when he will come about, but it shouldn't be anytime soon, I guess. So... On the back side, I was about to cut into it there. Featured characters, again, Spy Rise. Currently, that is who is eluding me and people that were actually at Target and saw the characters Sunday or before Sunday uh, claimed that Spy Rise was what they had the most of, so go figure. Uh, there's Stink Bomb, there's Rubble Rouser, there's Magna Charge. <laughs> Inset Box Art, Stink Bomb, looks pretty cool there. 250 plus combinations and swap zone power is sneak. So that will be very important. Uh, first one that comes to mind is Chapter 2. So uh, very few of you right now are going to have 100% on Chapter 2. But uh, you can now. Got that cut. I'll set the knife down so I'm not dropping on my foot again. 
And lastly, it seems like they used some new adhesive or something. That was kind of ridiculous. But nonetheless, if you do want to keep the characters together, you know the drill. So now what we will do is slide this out. Uh, interestingly, now uh, this is taped as well. My advice, as always, if you plan to repackage these characters for display purposes or what have you, go ahead and cut that tape just so you don't like rip it or bend it. That said, my favorite thing about unboxing Swap Force characters is actually when I bend this back, the top half comes off. So it looks like they custom molded his pretty good. Maybe that's why he was waved through and not so available at launch or something. Got that out. Here's a look at Stink. Um, very very aggressive look there i don't know if those eyes glow or not but uh oh that's awesome that is it probably the best detailed uh tribute to the life element i've seen his vest is very nice nice detail there on the uh cuff guards there's a look at his claws or paws got some throwing stars snapped in place there and uh there's one in his hand fittingly so we'll set that down on the pool table uh, hopefully it doesn't scare you off uh I don't know if you smell that, but it's horrible. Uh, no, not really. The only character that's really kind of had like an unexplainable smell is uh, Bumble Blast and Jolly Bumble Blast. Here's the base. Of course, you got the Leafs for Life Element Blue, indicative of Swap Force. Uh, that little sign right there, kind of like the spy mask, if you will. That is, again, Sneak, which is very important. Coming around to the backside, Pretty good detailed tail. It's almost like a Pokemon grass type type vibe. And then he's got a course of stripes there. Uh, pretty intense plating on the legs there. Looks like he's going to be pretty quick or powerful uh, based on you know the size and shape of the legs. That said, it just snaps into place. If you want to play around with it like he's throwing a star, you can basically do that. Uh, I think people kind of from time to time forget how cool this concept actually is, but. Uh, we'll snap him back together. There's a look at him all put together. Very, very cool in my opinion. Uh, again, one of my favorite features on the character is actually the Life Element logo on the vest. Not because it's gold. I don't like that coloring, uh, which it does fit him again. But uh, it's just that's the most intricately detailed one I have seen. So uh, coming back around to the front, let's go ahead and uh, read his story before we take a look at the stat card. We'll spice things up. Stink Bomb studied martial arts under one of the greatest ninja masters in history who believed that surprise was the key to finding your true self. Sounds very similar to Stealth Elf, does it not? Uh, thus his master would constantly jump out and frighten him, hoping that it would scare Stink Bomb into finding his innermost strength. On one such occasion, Stink Bomb was so surprised that he instinctively released a cloud of vapor so pungent that it caused his master to disappear and never return. Uh, that is pretty potent right there, if that's the case. With this newly discovered ability, Stink Bomb developed his own form of martial arts known as Kung Fume. Uh, props to whoever penned this story. And <laughs> wandered the land teaching it to all those who wished to learn. It was not long before the news and smell of this new form reached Master Eon who sought out the young ninja at once. So... Uh, pretty humorous, neat story there, kind of like the new elements introduced. Uh, he should be, again, this is based on what Daphne has mentioned on Twitter. Apparently, he is quite impressive when you're playing and upgrading him. So, uh, we'll set him down here, and uh, again, with swappers, you're going to have the cards kind of akin to the giants where they're kind of just strapped in here on the bottom. Really nice feature there, in my opinion. Then you just slide it out. The cards don't bend. The packaging has escaped damage-free. Uh, again, that's good news for those of you that like to repack them. Let's go ahead and take a look now at his stat card. Power or Strength, 140 of 200. Defense or Armor, 85 of 200. Speed or Agility, 150 of 200. And Luck, surprisingly low, 15 of 200. Add all that up, and what do we have? We've got 290. 370, 375, 380, 390 of 800, so uh, almost halfway there. Again, stat cards don't necessarily relate to anything, but they do give them to us with numbers, so well, we'll talk about it. Uh, right here is the sticker sheet. Very cool, in my opinion. Impressive artwork there. Uh, it is different than the card, if you know, and he's kind of crouched here and like he's drawn himself to the ground after throwing the star. And then this top half 
uh, the sticker sheet, I should say, is actually fully standing, and he's throwing the star from the other hand, so uh, interesting little dichotomy there. You've got the name tag, a QR code, then you've got your uh, web code you can use for your uh, iOS and Android apps, etc. So we will set that down again. That is Stink Bomb. That's pretty much all she wrote again. People sometimes complain about the talking or the stories. There's a reason for that. If it helps you get Stink Bomb, it is a very good thing and you will be happy. So, uh, again, if you've been trying Target with no luck uh, and you continue to want to try Target and not hold out for someone else to get them, go ahead. If you find someone new or someone you know, maybe they're in a good mood or you know actually willing to help you, uh, bring up that lock case and say, hey, I know you scanned it and said you didn't have any in the back. Could you check that lock case for me? Maybe you'll get lucky too. So uh, that said, very, very cool here. So uh, ironically, earlier in the day, one of the other surprises, in addition to getting Quick Draw Rattle Shake, I actually had a surprise delivery of Stink Bomb. So now I essentially got two of them. However, uh, as it usually happens to me, uh, anytime I get a character, then I go find another one or I find one locally after I've ordered them, etc. So... Uh, that said, I've got this guy covered two times, so I'm pretty happy about that. Especially if Daphne is already endorsing him. Uh, that's going to be a good sign. So, uh, That said, his pass, I have kind of skimmed them. They look pretty dadgum cool. And again, he's got, uh, I think, the lower half uh, base moves. Kind of like a uh, stealth elf secondary attack type thing, so that'll be neat. But uh, again, he will go along with Rubble Rouser and Spire Eyes as our Wave 3 swappers. And again, ironically... Uh, the one people claim is the easiest to find in Spire Eyes is who is currently evading me. So uh, we'll take it from there and go from there. But again, very, very nice figure in my opinion. Very well detailed. Again, immaculate detail there on that Life Element logo. Uh, the legs, the arms, very well done. The coloring is super cool. Um, we've had a few green characters, but this is kind of like the first... Uh, grassy green or yellowy green we've seen. You can see the contrast between like his base color and the uh, leaves on the life element base and it's it works really well for Stink Bomb so uh, again good luck getting him uh, if my biggest deal I don't understand why you have a timed exclusive if you don't have the stock to actually sell the character and I don't mean on Sunday uh, I mean like during that time you're the only place that has this you need to cash in on it because everyone's going to come to you to buy it uh, It's just kind of perplexing really uh, I realize they've got some big issues you know, with their uh, kind of security breach if you will on the debit and credit cards But still uh, you preferably would do a little better of a job than they've done again just from the profiteering standpoint of hey if you got a time window here, you need to take advantage of it. So that's uh, one of those things. No one would be griping if you could all run out to Target and buy this, and they'd be making a bunch of money that Toys R Us, GameStop, Best Buy, and Walmart weren't. But uh, for whatever reason, it isn't happening that way. Again, if you've given up, you're sick of Target, whatever, uh, just a couple of weeks, you know, their timed exclusive will be over. Uh, maybe there'll be a broader, wider release elsewhere. Uh, but again, if you keep trying and you never get lucky, keep asking to talk to people, see if they can check the back and try that lock case idea. Uh, again, my store has never mentioned that to me in the past. They've always just had all their Skylanders on the floor. That's what I was told the last two, three times I was in there. So I don't know if management on a local level or districts or regions or nation has come out and said, hey, people are stealing these. Let's lock them up. Or if it's just local, but if it happened to my store locally, it can happen to yours. And again, my goal is to just help you get Stink Bomb and the other Wave 3. So give it a shot. Uh, hopefully that helps you out. But uh, again, very cool looking character. I might come in and kind of record these uh, special characters intros and uh, a little bit of gameplay for you to get those up ahead of what I'm currently backlogged on. But uh, once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I have no clue when I'm going to find this stuff or when surprise deliveries will come. So if you're a subscriber, you will know as soon as the video is up. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, we will catch you later.